characteristics of characteristics of a projectile thrown from ground characteristics of a projectile thrown from ground characteristics of a projectile thrown from the ground characteristics of a projectile thrown from the ground number one characteristics of uh, a projectile will be what horizontal range of a projectile horizontal range of a projectile thrown from the ground thrown from the ground horizontal range of a projectile thrown from the ground will will be same horizontal range of a projectile thrown from the ground will be same when the angle of projection when the angles of projection when the angles of projection of the projectile from the ground of the projectile from the ground are are theta and 90 degree minus theta theta and 90 degree minus theta or uh, 45 degree minus theta and 45 degree plus theta horizontal range of a projectile thrown from the ground will be same when the angle of angles of projection of the projectile are theta and 90 degree minus theta or 45 degree minus theta and 45 degree plus theta in the diagram a projectile of mass m will be thrown from the point o with the initial velocity u and the projectile describes this type of parabolic trajectory and strikes the ground at the point b u is the initial velocity of projection of the projectile from the point o at an angle theta with the horizontal direction at the point b the projectile strikes the ground strikes the ground with the velocity v prime such that v prime is equal to u uh, that means the velocity with which the projectile strikes the ground will be equal to the velocity of projection we can uh, denote the uh, horizontal range of the projectile we can denote the horizontal range of the projectile as r1 for this case r1 is the horizontal range or horizontal displacement of the projectile when the projectile uh, is thrown at an angle 90 degree minus theta when the projectile is thrown with the same velocity u from the ground at an angle 90 degree minus theta in that case the projectile will describe this type of parabolic trajectory and will strike the ground at the same point b the projectile thrown with the same initial velocity u at an angle 90 degree minus theta will have the horizontal range r2 will have the horizontal range r2 and it will strike the ground at the point at the same point b when theta is equal to theta r1 or horizontal range r1 will be equal to u square sine 2 theta divided by g but when theta is equal to 90 degree minus theta in that case horizontal range r2 will be equal to u square sine under bracket to bracket open 90 degree minus theta bracket close divided by g is equal u square sin 180 degree minus 2 theta divided by g now sin 180 degree minus 2 theta is sin 2 theta that's why r2 is equal u square sin 2 theta divided by g r2 is r1 was u square sin 2 theta divided by g now we get r2 as u square sine 2 theta divided by g therefore we can say that uh, uh, both the horizontal range that is r2 and r1 are same therefore we can say we can write that r1 is equal to r2 both the horizontal ranges r1 and r2 for the angle of projection theta and 90 degree minus theta will be same if the projectile is thrown at an angle theta if the projectile is thrown at an angle theta 
and 90 degree minus theta and 90 degree minus theta the projectile will have the same horizontal ranges that means r2 will be equal to r1 r2 will be equal to r1 number two characteristics of a projectile thrown from ground the instantaneous the instantaneous velocity of a projectile thrown from ground the instantaneous velocity of a projectile thrown from the ground is perpendicular is perpendicular perpendicular to the acceleration due to gravity to the acceleration due to gravity the instantaneous velocity of, project, of a projectile thrown from the ground is perpendicular to the acceleration due to gravity at the highest point of its parabolic trajectory at the highest point of its parabolic trajectory and now if we draw the diagram if we draw the diagram this is the horizontal direction a projectile of mass m is thrown from the point o and this uh, it describes this type of parabolic trajectory and it strikes the ground at the point b it strikes the ground at the point b with the velocity v prime and initial velocity of projection of the projectile is u from the point o and we know that v prime is equal to u and the projectile is thrown at an angle theta with the ground from the point O. Theta is the angle of projection of the projectile from the point O. And at the initial point O, acceleration due to gravity acts downwards. Small g acts downwards at the point O. Now we consider that the projectile reaches at the highest point A. And h max is the highest uh, height or maximum height attained by the projectile at the top highest point A. At the highest point A, the projectile has a tendency to move along the tangent with the velocity v. With the velocity v. At the highest point A, the projectile has a tendency. The projectile has a tendency to move along this tangent a x1 with the velocity v. v is the velocity of the projectile at the highest point a. At the highest point a acceleration due to gravity that is small g acts vertically downwards and in this case v is perpendicular to g. v is perpendicular to g at the highest point a. Acceleration due to gravity small g acts downwards and v is the velocity of the projectile at the highest point a uh, will be in uh, the tangential direction a x1 a x1 now number three characteristics number three characteristics is the projectile number three characteristics the projectile returns to the ground the projectile returns to the ground returns to the ground at the same angle at the same angle and velocity the projectile returns to the ground at the same angle and with the same speed with the same speed with which it was projected with which it was projected from the ground from the ground number 3 characteristics is the projectile returns to the ground at the same angle and with the same speed with which it was projected from the ground. Now in the diagram a projectile is thrown uh, from the point O it will describe this type of parabolic path and the projectile strikes the ground at the point B uh, along this direction with the velocity V prime. V prime is the velocity with which the projectile strikes the ground at the point B and from the point O the projectile of mass M will be uh, projected with uh, the initial velocity U at an angle theta and at the point B final velocity V prime makes an angle phi with the horizontal direction. A projectile of mass M is thrown from the point O with the initial velocity U at an angle theta with the ground 
and after describing the parabolic trajectory, the projectile strikes the ground at the point B with the velocity V prime at an angle phi with the ground. At the point O, instant of time t is equal to 0 and at the point B, time t is equal to t1 plus t2 that is equal to capital T. We can denote horizontal range R. R is the horizontal range or horizontal displacement of the projectile. Now we can write what? Let u be the initial velocity with which the projectile is thrown or u be the initial velocity of projection of the projectile from the point O on the ground, projectile uh, at the point O from the ground, u be the initial velocity of projection of the projectile at the point O from the ground at an angle of theta with the horizontal, at an angle of theta with the horizontal also v is the v prime is the final velocity with which v dash or v prime is the final velocity with which with which the projectile strikes the ground the projectile strikes the ground at an angle of phi at an angle of phi In this case, in this case, V prime will be equal to U and phi will be equal to theta. Therefore, V prime is equal to U and phi will be equal to theta. Phi will be equal to theta. Phi is equal theta. Phi is equal theta and uh, the projectile strikes the ground at the point B. V prime is the velocity with which projectile strikes the ground at the point B and U is the initial velocity with which U is the initial velocity with which projectile is thrown from the point O or from the ground. That's why V in this case V prime is equal to U. Therefore, the velocity V prime with which the projectile strikes the ground at the point B will be equal to the initial velocity U with which the projectile was thrown from the point O at the ground. That means V prime will be equal to U. Also, phi is the angle with which uh, the projectile strikes the ground with the horizontal phi is the angle with which the projectile strikes the ground with the horizontal and theta is the angle with which uh, the projectile was thrown from the point O and here phi will be equal to theta that is the angle with which the projectile strikes the ground with the horizontal will be equal to the angle with which the projectile was thrown from the ground that means phi is equal theta the angular momentum of a projectile thrown from the ground the angular momentum of the projectile and the angular momentum of the projectile at the highest point at the highest point is l equal l equal now we can draw the diagram this is the horizontal direction from the point to a projectile is thrown with the initial velocity u and it describes this type of parabolic path and the projectile strikes the ground at the point b u is the initial velocity of projection at the point o uh, and u makes an angle theta and uh, the projectile strikes the ground at the point b with the velocity v prime at the highest point a the projectile has a tendency to move with the velocity v along the tangent a x1 and we can draw a normal from the highest point a a in is a maximum height h max r is a horizontal range of the projectile at o t equal to 0 and at b t is equal to capital t which is time of flight now angular momentum capital l is equal to h max into mv where mv is the linear momentum mv is the linear momentum 
Now putting the expression, we can prove that a, uh, L will be equal to m u to the power 3 sin square theta cos theta divided by 2g. L is equal to m u to the power 3 sin square theta cos theta divided by 2g. So here angular momentum L is directly proportional to the third power of initial velocity of projection u. L proportional u to the power 3. Number 5 characteristics of a projectile thrown from the ground will be the kinetic energy. The kinetic energy of the projectile, the kinetic energy of the projectile at the highest point, at the highest point is minimum, at the highest point is minimum and it is maximum, it is maximum at uh, the point of projection at the point of projection that is the kinetic energy of a projectile at the highest point is minimum and it becomes maximum at the point of projection from the ground. Now the kinetic energy of the projectile at the point of projection O is EKO which is equal to half m u square. This is the kinetic energy. This is the kinetic energy of the projectile, kinetic energy of the projectile at the point of projection O, at the point of projection O on the ground, on the ground, uh, at the point of projection O from the ground, which is the maximum kinetic energy. EKO is the kinetic energy at the point O and EKA is the kinetic energy of the projectile at the point A. And EKA is equal to half m v square, which is the kinetic energy of the projectile at the highest point A. Now we can resolve U into two rectangular components. Horizontal component is Ux and vertical component is Uy in the diagram. And uh, the comp horizontal component of V along the same direction is Vx, which is equal to V cos 0 degree is equal to v which will be equal to ux which is equal to u cos theta where the horizontal component of velocity remains constant that's why uh, vx will be equal to ux which is equal to v which is equal to u cos theta so eka will have the expression that is half m u square cos square theta since v is equal to vx is equal to ux is equal to u cos theta EKA is equal to half m u square cos square theta. That is the kinetic energy of the projectile at the highest point A of this parabolic trajectory. And this is the minimum kinetic energy of the projectile. EKA equal half m u square, which is uh, the maximum kinetic energy. And EKA uh, is uh, the minimum kinetic energy of the projectile at the highest point. At O, EKO is the kinetic energy which is the maximum. At the highest point A, EKA is the kinetic energy which is the minimum kinetic energy. And here, horizontal component of velocity remains constant. That's why Vx will be equal to Ux is, will be equal to Vx prime. And what is the relation between EKA and EKO? So obviously EKA equal cos square theta times of EKO. Minimum kinetic energy EKA is equal to cos square theta times of EKO that is the maximum kinetic energy. Number 7 characteristics. Number 6 characteristics. There are two times. There are two times for which there are two times for which the projectile thrown from the ground travels the projectile thrown from the ground travels the same vertical distance same vertical distance there are two times for which the projectile travels the same vertical distance and the sum of this times or sum of this timings sum of these timings will be equal to 
द टोटल टाइम ऑफ फ्लाइट द टोटल टाइम ऑफ फ्लाइट टोटल टाइम ऑफ फ्लाइट ऑफ द प्रोजेक्टाइल थ्रोन फ्रॉम द ग्राउंड नाउ वी कैन ड्रॉ द डायग्राम नाउ वी कैन ड्रॉ द डायग्राम दिस इज द हॉरिजॉन्टल डायरेक्शन एंड अ प्रोजेक्टाइल ऑफ मा सेम विल बी थ्रोन फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ओ and uh, ox is the horizontal direction it will describe this type of parabolic path and uh, the projectile describes uh, this type of parabolic path and at the point b at the point b the projectile strikes the ground uh, with the final velocity v prime and u is the initial velocity of projection v prime is the final velocity at the point b and uh, angle of projection from the point o is theta theta is the angle of projection we can denote a as highest point a is the highest point a is the point at which the projectile will attain the maximum height now we consider two vertical height or two instantaneous height y1 and y2 or uh, two vertical displacement of the projectile y1 and y2 at the point c and d there are two timings at which the projectile will have the vertical displacement y1 and y2 at c the projectile has the velocity v double prime and at d the projectile when the projectile reaches the point d uh, at d the projectile will have the tangential velocity v triple prime v triple prime and the projectile reaches the point c at the instant of time t equal capital uh, t equal small t1 we draw two perpendicular c and 1 and d in 2 at o t equal to 0 at in 1 t equal to t1 at in 2 t equal to t2 and at b t is equal capital t y1 and y2 are the vertical distance travel by the projectile when the projectile reaches the point c and d y1 when y2 are the vertical distance or displacement of the projectile when the projectile is at the point c and d at instant t equal t1 second and t equal t2 second now here y1 will be equal to y2 that is the vertical distance travel by the projectile y1 and y2 at the points c and d will be same will be same and uh, sum of these two timings that is t1 plus t2 small t1 plus small t2 will be equal to capital t that is sum of these two timings will be equal to the uh, total time of flight of the projectile t1 is the time taken by the projectile to uh, travel from the point o to c and t2 is the time small t2 is the time taken by the projectile to travel from the point o to d and capital t is uh, the total time of flight that is time taken by the projectile to travel from the point o to b is total time of flight that is capital t a projectile has motions in two dimensions a projectile has motions in two dimensions that is it should have it should have two components it should have two component velocities two component velocities it should have two component velocities in two mutually perpendicular directions a projectile has motions in two dimensions that is it should have two component velocities in two mutually perpendicular directions 
this is the horizontal direction or the ground from which a projectile of mass m will be thrown from the point o the projectile is thrown from the point o and this projectile describes this type of parabolic trajectory the projectile describes this type of parabolic trajectory and it strikes the ground at the point b the projectile describes this type of parabolic trajectory or path this is the parabolic trajectory or path along which the projectile travels under the action of gravity without being propelled any fuel and at the point b the projectile strikes the ground with the velocity v prime obliquely v prime is the velocity with which the projectile strikes the ground at the point b and at the point o u is the initial velocity of projection u is the velocity with which the projectile is thrown with the ground at an angle theta and the projectile describes parabolic path we can consider two mutually perpendicular components that is rectangular components ui and ux here ui here ui is equal ui equal u sin theta which is the vertical component of initial velocity u of the projectile we can denote the horizontal component ux which is equal to u cos theta ui and ux are the two rectangular components which are mutually perpendicular to each other u is the initial velocity with which it will be projected ui and ux are the vertical and horizontal components in this case ui is perpendicular to ux vertical component of initial velocity that is ui is perpendicular to the horizontal component ux the horizontal component the horizontal component of the velocity that is the horizontal component under bracket u x equal u cos theta of velocity of projection velocity of projection of the projectile of the projectile remains constant remains constant remains constant in this case the horizontal component of velocity that is ux equal u cos theta of the projectile remains constant this horizontal component of velocity does not change we consider the highest point a when the projectile is at the highest point a the projectile of mass m will have a tangential velocity will have a velocity v along the tangent a x1 parallel to the ground v is the velocity at the highest point a if we consider the rectangular component of v in the same direction that is parallel to the horizontal direction then that horizontal component is vx which will be equal to v cos 0 degree vx is equal to v cos 0 degree and similarly we can resolve the velocity v prime with which the projectile strikes the ground in two mutually perpendicular directions uh, here vy prime is the vertical component of the final velocity v prime now we can con uh, we can draw a rectangle here and uh, v prime makes an angle phi with the horizontal direction now v prime will be equal to u that is v prime is equal to u and phi is equal to theta phi is equal to theta and v prime x is equal to v prime cos phi v prime x is equal to v prime cos phi now uh, the horizontal component of the velocity at the initial point o is ux equal u cos theta which will be equal to the horizontal component of velocity vx which is equal to v cos 0 degree at the highest point a and that will be equal to the horizontal component v prime x at the final point b at the final point b main 
important thing is what horizontal component of velocity of the projectile remains constant. Therefore, ux is equal vx is equal vx prime, where ux is equal u cos theta, which is the horizontal component of velocity at the initial point O of the projectile. At the highest point, at the highest point A, the horizontal component of velocity will be Vx. And from the point A, we can draw the normal A in and H max is the maximum height attained by the projectile. And uh, A is the highest point. That means A is a point at which the projectile attains the maximum height. And at the highest point A, horizontal component of velocity is Vx, which is equal to V cos 0 degree as Vx is parallel to V. Vx is equal to V cos 0 degree as the horizontal component Vx is parallel to V. Uh, because V is along the tangent Ax1 and Vx is also along the tangent Ax1. So here Vx is equal to V cos 0 degree. Now cos 0 degree is 1. Cos 0 degree is equal to 1. That's why Vx is equal to V. That means horizontal component of the velocity V will be equal to V which is equal to ux which is equal to u cos theta. Horizontal component of velocity at the highest point A which is Vx will be equal to ux. Also at the point B at which the projectile at which the projectile strikes the ground projectile strikes the ground strikes the ground the horizontal component of velocity is vx prime vx prime which is equal to v prime cos phi is equal to ux which is equal to u cos theta and for the motion of the projectile thrown from the ground the horizontal component of velocity remains constant because Acceleration due to gravity acts downwards and there is no component of acceleration due to gravity in the horizontal direction. That means there is no acceleration in horizontal direction. That's why the horizontal component of velocity of a projectile remains constant. At the highest point, the horizontal component is Vx, which is equal to V cos 0 degree, which is equal to Ux equal U cos theta. Similarly, at the final point B, that is at the point B at which the projectile strikes the ground, will be equal to Vx prime, which will be equal to V prime cos phi equal Ux, which will be equal to U cos theta u cos theta v prime x is equal to v prime cos phi is equal u x is equal to u cos theta therefore v prime x is equal to v x is equal to u x is equal to u cos theta that means all the horizontal component of velocity will be constant for the two dimensional motion of a projectile which moves in air under the action of gravity without being propelled any fuel. Well.